afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas, broadcasting on cable channel 3. We're also on sandylandcenter.org, our website. Today is Friday, it's the 5th of December. The temperature at the bank is a blistering 36 degrees at noon. We're having a sunny day today and 43 should be the high temperature. And that's going to be about as cold as it gets for the next few days. Saturday and Sunday are much better. Partly cloudy, 52 on Saturday, 51 on Sunday. And then Monday, cloudy and still 51, but look out for Tuesday, partly cloudy and back to 40. Well, we say happy birthday today to Erica Beebe. We hope you have a great birthday, Erica. We have none listed for tomorrow or Sunday. And so we go into our main part of the news, which is the broadcast schedule. We like people to remember that on Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning is the First Baptist Church service in St. John Live. Then at 1 o'clock is an important new program that we have, and it only happens once a month. And that's the school board meeting of USD 350. And that will be at 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. And then at 6 o'clock in the evening, the First United Methodist Church service from that morning will be put on by delayed broadcast. So you have plenty of things to look at on Sunday on Channel 3. And we particularly invite the people uh, that are at Kenwood, or someone who's sick, or someone who just happened to be out of town in the morning. If you want to see a local church service, you can tune in on Sunday for either the 11 or the 6 o'clock service. And those who are particularly interested in the school board uh, can tune in at 1 o'clock or turn on your VCR and record it for yourself to watch later. And we do hope that you will uh, thank our sponsor, the Farm Bureau in St. John, for uh, being the sponsor for the Board of Education meeting. And it's really an important meeting for a lot of us in the county, and it's good that somebody is being a sponsor so we can put it on. Well, we go to events that the Recreation Commission is sponsoring for St. John, and the first one is uh, Saturday, the 6th of December, which happens at the same time as Christmas in the Square uh, that's also going on. And at 4.45, they're going to leave town and go to an old-fashioned Christmas at the Old Mill Theater and Barbecue. Uh, and uh, they have the theater presentation and then a barbecued meal kind of a western uh, outdoor kind of thing. I hope they have it inside though because it'll be cold. Then on Friday, a week away, the 12th at 4.30, uh, they'll be leaving the Rec Commission to go at 4.30 and see the Christmas lights in Great Bend. They're having dinner at Montana Mike's and uh, for either of these things you need to make a reservation by calling 6549 the Recreation Commission. Also, the uh, Ministers Alliance and the hardworking volunteers at Second Chances remind you that they are open uh, from 1 to 5 on Thursday and Friday and from 9 until noon on Saturdays and they have lots of really great good quality used clothing and other things such as Christmas decorations and gifts that could be recycled. And it does good in two directions. Uh, you get a bargain and recycle something. And the Minister's Fund guy uh, makes uh, some contributions so that uh, they can help people who get into trouble uh, in the city. Well, we go to Christmas Around the Square now, which is going to be Saturday. And it's sponsored by the St. John Community Involvement Program, which is all of the active people in the city, I would expect. Anyway, in the morning it starts off at 8.30 with breakfast with Santa at the Recreation Commission. 
Then there'll be activities on the square from 3 to 5 in the afternoon. 3.15, Santa comes to town, and candy is given out uh, that's sponsored by the Oddfellows Lodge. There will be hot cocoa, popcorn, and cookies in various places. There's a Christmas story time for children, or for some of us who are younger uh, adults. Uh, there are carriage rides around the, the square uh, with horse-drawn uh, wagons and carriages. And there's Christmas card decorating tables on the square. And particularly in the St. John Science Museum from 3 to 5, uh, they'll be uh, addressing uh, cards to service personnel, perhaps uh, wounded uh, people in hospitals. I'm not sure what their list is, but I'm sure it's a great thing. And the Shepherd Center uh, has some volunteers who are going to help the Science Museum by having cookies and uh, cider or some other things. And I know they like to have hot cider around here, and that might be a good thing to have tomorrow afternoon. Uh, there are Christmas carolers that are coming around the square, and a lot of people look forward to the prize drawings at 445. There are two large stocking prizes for kids, a holiday dinner, hams, and turkeys. Then at 5, there's a soup supper at the Shell Building, sponsored by Leisure Homestead, and they're asking for a $5 donation. And then at 6.15 will be the grand lighting of the square, where they officially turn on all the, the Christmas lights. And then it all winds up with a concert by Roger Cooper in the Stafford County Annex Building, which is right adjacent uh, to the county building. And the admission to the concert is a donation of, first of all, uh, uh, mittens, socks, hats, gloves, toys, and blankets to be given out with the Secret Santa Fund, and possibly uh, non-perishable food items uh, such as cereal and uh, uh, canned green beans and things like that. And that will be to the Minister's Alliance to use uh, in making food boxes uh, for Christmas for folks. So <clears throat> there will also be more prize drawings during the concert. And if you haven't uh, used up all your energy on all of those events, uh, the next thing I have is Tuesday. Uh, the Rebeccas have a big meeting at the IOF Lodge at 6.30, and they have a catered supper. So uh, Rebecca's don't want to miss out on that. Uh, then on the 12th of December, the library is having open house. That's a Friday the 12th, which is a week from this, from uh, today. And uh, the Friends of the Library remind us the best thing to spend on children at Christmas is your time. Well, now we come to what's going on at the school, and the one I have is the St. John School. And uh, they're having today at 6 o'clock a home game of basketball versus Skyline. Then uh, tomorrow, starting at 8 in the morning, is the Music Educators District uh, event in Dodge City. So that will be fun, getting up and going to that. Uh, then, of course, uh, what's for lunch is important. Uh, right now, at the school, they're having ham and cheese sandwiches with french fries. On Monday, they'll have taco salad, and on Tuesday, chicken strips. The other menu I have is from the VIP Center in Maxville, and they're having meatloaf and potato wedges today. And on Monday, they're having beef and noodles with mashed potatoes. And on Tuesday, roast beef with mashed potatoes and gravy. Looks like everybody should sign up for a Tuesday over in Maxville for the roast beef and mashed potatoes. That's all the announcements I have at this time. If there was a market for afterthoughts, we'd all be rich. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Friday and an even better weekend.
Okay, and I'm here today with the new broadcast team for the Maxville High School News. What are you guys going to call this thing? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> well, Mrs. Sanders is going to allow you guys to play with this stuff, and we'll see if we can't get you on the news. Introduce yourselves. I'm Chairman Loomis. I'll be uh, the one talking in this program. Estella, helping out. Jorge, helping out. Okay. we got to give you a more official name than helping out. I was a cameraman or editor. I don't know, well, the editor's, the editor's the most powerful person in the whole place because they're the one that can put your name in or keep your name out. <laughs> and they're the ones that give you the title of whatever you are, whatever, yeah. you know. So... And put a little black dot over your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't so, don't well, we, you're going to try and do this once a month? Uh, we're thinking twice a month, maybe. Twice a month? Yeah. And going to get involved in some of the other things, I hope. Yeah. And we'll look forward to uh, putting some of your stuff on the television station.